Wait. <laughs> you guys invented the amazing vibrator. <laughs> I said a little blue pills. <laughs> you guys did that? Who are getting hot? For what reason? <laughs> Hey guys, it's your island girl and I'm back with another reaction video for you today and today we are reacting to Top 10 things you didn't know the UK invented. Now, ask me why I'm doing this video, I'll tell you why I'm doing this video, alright? So, I did a video about the best, the, the best plug ever invented. I think that's the title, I'm not sure, but something like that, to that effect, and I was in awe. I could not believe it. Your guy's electrical plug is, yeah, like left me speechless all right so this is just amazing just to look at i was like what why is this not worldwide so then this came up as a recommendation and a few persons also left it in the comment section say okay island girl since you look at that then you need to take a look at this one so i'm going to dive in so if you're new to my channel and it's your first time here come on in wrap back put a smile on your face and enjoy this reaction with the oil and girl <laughs> don't forget to go in the comment section and tell me what you'd like me to react to next okay guys to all my regulars my smegglers my day ones my sweetie pies my sweetie poos thank you for always being here with your girl but now i'm gonna talk long because i'm excited all right here we go yeah the sun is shining here we go content for this list, we've picked out some of Blighty's best inventions and ranked the ones which we think are often overlooked. Okay. Number 10, chocolate bar. Well then, I've been eating a lot of tub their own. I've eaten four and they've got two white ones left. But they don't like them as much as the dark ones. Before Mars bars, Dairy Milk, Twix, Twirl or Toffee Crisp came Fry's Chocolate Cream, predated only by bittersweet treats, including an innovative 1847 effort by Joseph Fry himself, Chocolate cream was the first bar to be widely distributed, hitting shelves in 1866. Make the moment last with Fry's chocolate cream. Dairy-free with a fondant center, the idea quickly caught on with a certain John Cadbury starting mass production soon afterwards. Then came Henry Nestle, Rudolf Lindt, and Milton S. Hershey. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate! Number nine, po Hold up. You guys invented chocolate? I did not know that! <laughs> Please! Are you serious? You guys invented chocolate. I had no clue. So, if you guys invented chocolate, that means that you guys know what chocolate is all about. Not the cheap stuff that I've been eating here. You, you, you get my drip? <laughs> I'm going to beg. <laughs> Can I please try your guys' chocolate? I don't even know what kind of chocolate you guys have. I'm going to look it up after this video. Interesting. Chocolate. Number nine says postage stamp. So let's see. Postage Number stamp. nine, postage stamp. So can you set fire to a postage stamp? No. In fact, a postage stamp is legal tender. A bus driver would have to accept that. Here's one to write home about. The heady history of the postage stamp boasts a series of major players, with most of the significant changes happening in London. Ah yes, wow. there it is, the penny black. Sir Roland Hill is widely credited with creating the self-adhesive item we take for granted today, as well as a regulated cost system, introducing the first stamps, the penny black and the two pence blue in 1840. Both bear an image of Queen Victoria and both are worth a pretty penny today. So everybody who wants to send a letter We'll have to lick my face. Number eight, Viagra. <laughs> lick our face, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's the way to say it. Wee, I didn't know that. The postage stamp was invented by you guys. Listen, I'm like coming out of a hole because honestly, I don't know nothing. I, I, this is just awe 
it, it just have an eye opening. Everything is just going left over my head. I'm like, the chocolate, no posting stamp. But <laughs> that's my head. What up? All right. What's the matter? What's the matter? You just took a Viagra to have sex with me. Well, I, I, I thought it would make it better. Sex is something of a specialist subject in <laughs> British history. First, the vibrator was conceived by an 1880s physician who sought a cure for female hysteria, and then male impotence was solved largely by accident. The effects of sildenafil, or Viagra, were discovered in 1991, when a group of Kent-based Pfizer employees were researching a proposed new treatment for angina. But rather than writing the heart, the product precipitated other noticeable changes. The findings were quickly turned into a pill, sparing bedroom blushes worldwide. You can. Took my anchor. Number seven. Wait. <laughs> you guys invented the amazing vibrator. <laughs> and then you. Are you serious? You guys are the one that invented Viagra? Ding, 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 light bulb. <laughs> oh, you said a little blue pills? <laughs> you guys did that? Who are getting hot? For what reason? <laughs> I only hear people talk about it. I don't know what it is, guys. <laughs> guys invention are you serious or just joke it, it, well you guys are, have to be serious this is crazy in truth the uk is responsible for or it had a major hand in the development of countless sports badminton that was us cricket obviously rugby football snooker and bowls all at least partly british squash was invented at harrow netball at Hampstead college and modern golf is scottish but we've singled out table tennis. For the first time, a father and son are playing each other in the World Table Tennis Final, and neither of them are Chinese. An Olympic sport since 1988, it began in Victorian England as a popular parlour game. Using improvised nets and paddles, players played over a dining table, often serving golf balls to their opponents. Somebody said world peace was in our hands, but all I did was play ping pong. Number Hold up. You guys invented rugby? You guys invented table tennis. You guys invented foot. Hold up. I'm lost here. I swear to you. Cricket. Interesting. This is just. I don't even know what to say. I can't believe this. This is amazing to find out, but I cannot. You guys invented all of these things? Where did I get the idea that it was invented here, some of these things? Even chocolate. And the postage stamp. You know what? Let me continue. Number six, six, flushing toilet. While there is evidence that early civilizations used water to sanitize toilets, it wasn't until Tudor England that a recognizable flush system emerged. Oh God, I beg you, please. If you make this water go down, I will sit at your feet and I will serve you for all of eternity. Said John Harrington led the way, installing a basic model for Elizabeth I at Richmond Palace. But it was almost 200 years before this throne became a household convenience. How about a courtesy flush over there? <laughs> South Yorkshire's Thomas Crapper perfected the U-Bend in 1880. At the Great Exhibition in 1851, purpose-built WCs were all the rage. Number 1880. You guys intend invented flush toilet. Man, I'm about to run out of here. I can't believe this. This is a, this is just got to be. You guys invented flush toilet too? Hey, <laughs> hey. What did you guys invent? Because apparently you guys seem to be come. You guys came up. I came chatting foolishness around here. You guys came up with all these ideas and invented all these things. What in the world is going on around here? I am telling you, I'm coming out of a hole. Sorry, guys. Let me speak properly. <laughs> I'm coming out of my hole. I cannot believe you guys invented these things. No, it's not that I cannot believe. I'm in shock that you guys invented all these things. Let me stand corrected. You guys are amazing. Whoa. Five, 
guillotine. Though best known for cutting through French history, this deadly device was actually a British idea. Ah! Beheading was a popular way of executing criminals in the Middle Ages, but all that wielding of swords soon got tiresome. While the guillotine was named after a French doctor, early versions are recorded as far back as the 1200s wow. in Northern England and Scotland. The Halifax gibbet featured a crude axe head on a wooden board, while legend says the Scottish maiden was used to behead an earl who helped install it. Oh. Number four. Wow. I'm lost for words. You know what? I'm lost for words. Jet engine, number four. Jet engine. Historically, war forces ideas. I feel the need. War forces ideas. The need oh. for speed. First, the military tank was devised by the Brits for World War I, supposedly inspired by a H.G. Wells story. Then came pioneering advances in the skies. The first patent for the jet engine was filed by Sir Frank Whittle in 1930, wow. but Whittle's revolutionary ideas weren't realised until midway through the Second World War, by which time a German designer had already adapted his plans. Oh. Furthermore, Whittle's ideas were also shared with America, meaning Britain missed its head start for their commercial applications too. To gain control, you gotta lose control, right? I can't hear you! Number Even though they missed their head start, they're the one who had the idea, they're the... Wow! Ah, boy, this is this is such an eye-opener. You guys are amazing, Three, man. Three, IVF. IVF? Introduced in the 70s, in vitro fertilization flipped some of our most fundamental ideas about human biology. How many times have you tried now? Three? Nine. The last two were in vitro. Developed for the most part by Patrick Steptoe and Robert G. Edwards, it proved that a successful pregnancy could be initiated outside of the human body. Louise wow. Brown was the world's first so-called test tube baby, conceived in a Petri dish and born in Oldham. Well, given your situation, the options with the greatest chances for success would be surrogacy or insemination using a sperm donor. The birth raised ongoing ethical questions, but the procedure has become an increasingly available option, with more than 250,000 IVF babies already born in the UK. What, what does that mean? It means that my guys won't get off their barca loungers and you have a uterus that is prepared to kill the ones that do. Are you serious? I'm telling you, ideas, ideas, and when you guys come up with them, they're so good. They're so good. You guys invented all these things that I am looking at right here. I honestly, wholeheartedly did not know this at all this is this is crazy number two crazy. digital audio player otherwise known as portable media player and mp3 player or most famously an ipod you'd be forgiven for thinking that these devices came straight out of silicon valley but no nope. the gadgets were first thought up by kane kramer a london-based serial inventor who designed the ixi in 1979 she's making playlists she likes to listen to MP3s when she hunts. Similar in size to a cigarette packet, with a small screen and four navigation buttons, the blueprints are uncanny. But Kramer's patent expired a decade later, leaving others free to act on his ideas. And that they did. Hold up. You're so right. This was even before I was born, guys. I wasn't even born then. But if it wasn't for his invention, all this wouldn't come about. It wouldn't. But can you imagine from 19 something? Oh boy, you guys, you guys are smart. Number one, oh. motion pictures. We finish with Britain's mass of media breakthroughs. Thomas Wedgwood, son of the pottery pioneer, experimented with early attempts at photography, while the Scotsman, John Logie Baird, was the first to demonstrate wow. TV. But Edward Muybridge takes top spot thanks to his modestly named 1870s study, A Horse in Motion. Aimed to determine how a horse gallops, it featured a series of silhouettes viewed through another of Edward's inventions, a zoopraxoscope. That was an early film projector, and the study was a precursor for motion pictures and the movie industry. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm in shock. I'm in shock, 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 shock. Um, you see the word shock is thrown around loosely. 
I'm in awe, but I'm going to throw it there. I'm in shock. I'm shocked. How should I put this? I had no clue you guys invented any of these stuff. I was under the impression that it was invented here in the United States, to be honest with you. On the other hand, as for football, I thought it was invented in my little country, Jamaica. <laughs> and cricket in the West Indies, to be honest with you. So, that right there. Boy, I can start tooting my horn about certain things. <laughs> <laughs> this video right here was very informative i cannot believe it that you no it's not that i cannot i'm in awe and i'm happy that now i know that it's you guys who invented that with that said can i please try your chocolates <laughs> with all them it just sounds so good and looks so good keep those requests coming guys please Please, I'm begging you. Thank you so much for sticking with the Island Girl, for requesting these videos. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. You guys are wonderful. You guys are... Man, I'm moving. I told you guys. I am moving. We, we're moving. Big beer hugs and kisses all the way from Alaska from this Island Girl. And no, don't take it. No, 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 no. Let's put it this way. An XXX. I found out, out in one of your videos <laughs> as well about you guys. You know what? I love you guys and I'll catch you guys in another video. If you'd like to follow me over on Patreon, the link is in the description below. I'm also making a song reaction channel. I haven't uploaded anything on it as yet, guys. But if you guys wish to follow me over there as well, I truly appreciate it. The link for that will be in the description below. Videos coming soon to that one as well. I love you guys, and I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye.